Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I wanted to share this beautiful Philadelphia Derringer with you. It was manufactured between 1850 and 1860 by Henry Derringer, of course, and there were only 30,000 of these ever made. It has a hidden compartment down in the bottom where you can flip this open and store your extra caps. Caps would be similar to what a primer would also be called. So you can flip that open. This one holds a 41 caliber ball. It has a ramrod that comes off here that has a brass part on it. It's very nice, very handy. This gun is actually very similar to the one that was used to assassinate Abraham Lincoln, but that particular Derringer was one inches shorter than this one. Let me show you some close-ups and then I'll tell you a little more about it. If you were going to fire this gun, you would put your powder and your 41 caliber ball, then you would take your ramrod, of course, and pack it down in there. Pull back on your hammer, then you would put a cap on the nipple, and then it would be ready to fire. This gun was common in California during the gold rush. It was simple to put in your pocket in case you needed protection and a lot of people needed protection during the gold rush. So one of the ways you can tell a fake from a original Derringer is to look down inside the barrel and you will find seven grooves. The real ones have seven grooves. I've talked specifically to um, Doug Eberhardt who is a Derringer expert and he pointed that out to me that most of the fakes will only have five or six so that's an easy way to tell right off the bat if your Derringer is authentic and if you're paying for an authentic one you want to ensure that that's what you're getting. It has beautiful silver and brass um, and engravings on it. It has all kinds of features on it. It's a beautiful little gun. I'm very proud to have it in my collection and I thought you would enjoy having a good look at it. Let me know what you think about my Philadelphia Derringer and please subscribe to Alaska Granny. Have a wonderful day.